It's a question that I'm asked from time to time, and it's often phrased in different ways. It was recently asked to me while I was having dinner with a group of friends, and my friend Joe, who I've known for over 35 years, asked me the question. Now, it would be good for you to know that Joe is someone who has subscribed to this channel and watches the videos and comes up with some questions about them whenever I see him. But Joe asked the question in this way. Spirituality is important to you, I get that, but how is that different from theology? I think that's a great question. So today I want to talk about how I understand spirituality and theology and the difference. And I want to ask that you be like Joe and subscribe to this channel, as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. I'm like many people of my generation. Whenever I was considering as a young person a future in ordained ministry, I was told to uh, study philosophy. So as an undergraduate, I double majored. I got a degree in philosophy and one in psychology. And I really enjoyed studying philosophy. I enjoyed psychology too. Uh, but in philosophy, I got to think all kinds of new thoughts and it was very heady. And I got to consider all these different perspectives of understanding things. And I, I learned terms like epistemology and hermeneutics and, and was really excited by what I learned. It was great for a young person. And then I got to study theology a bit later and I saw that it really was like philosophy. It used a lot of the same tools as philosophy and it was also abstract. It logically started from one point and, and built doctrines and, and beliefs in, in this philosophical fashion. And maybe because I was also studying psychology, I realized that these things I was learning in psychology, well, they didn't have a lot to do with people's real life experience. They were sort of abstract. And I began to question that and wonder more about that because what people experienced was important to me. And I realized that people didn't experience doctrine, they didn't experience dogma, they didn't experience creeds. Instead, they experienced something transcendent, something luminous, something they may call God, maybe they don't, but they experienced something different that was unique to them. If God is indeed God, if the transcendent dimension of life is truly transcendent, then by definition, how we understand it is limited. We can never totally understand God. We can only approximate. We can have a metaphor, we can have a perspective, but it's never the complete thing. What we can understand is our own experience. For example, I know that when I'm in deep meditation, I move into a different state, a different kind of consciousness, a different awareness, where I experience present with me something that's larger than life itself, something that I find inviting and welcoming, that's healing for me, that inspires me, and somehow leads me to transformation in life in ways that gives my life hope and meaning and empowers me to get through all the confusing aspects of life. That's not theology. That's spirituality. And I can understand having that experience. So that's why I have really focused on spirituality and not theology. Theology is great and intellectual, and yes, I still read theological texts but I consider that an abstract thing. Spirituality is an experiential thing. It speaks to human beings' real life. Now, I know that many great theologians have had profound spiritual experiences, but what happens in the theological process is that they have these experiences and then start reflecting on them and dissecting them and putting them into categories and out of those categories emerge doctrines and dogma and creeds 
that people can either agree with or disagree with from an intellectual place. But when people, real people, are experiencing difficulties in life, sickness or death or personal tragedy or national, natural disasters, those definitions don't mean a lot. What means a great deal for people is their ability to find hope, to find meaning that draws them forward in life, that helps them continue in the midst of life's confusion and ambiguities. And that's the realm of spirituality. Spirituality is how we experience something transcendent that helps us to move forward in life. Whether we consider that transcendent dimension about God or a deity or not. The other thing that I think is really funny about theology is how it's taught as an academic perspective. Theology studies begin with, and, and this is across all traditions, but they begin with the older and ancient understandings, things that are a thousand or fifteen hundred or even more older and then sort of move forward. But then the things that are current, that are recent, they're left for optional graduate seminars, and many people never get there. That's unlike any other discipline. You know, I'm a psychologist, and I, I was a psychology professor for decades. We don't teach psychology that way. You can take a course on history of psychology, but psychology is taught based on what's current. Think about this as a comparable. If you were studying physics, you wouldn't start by reading Aristotle's book on physics and spend most of your time on Isaac Newton's understanding of physics. And then only late in graduate school would you get an occasional seminar on Einstein, relativity, thermodynamics, the Big Bang theory, string theory, all those things that are part of current physics. No, from the beginning, you would start learning what is current in physics so that you can understand the research and build on it. Theology isn't like that. In the last 50 or 60 years, many new kinds of theologies have emerged. They're generally referred to as contextual theologies. That's because these theologies are rooted in people's contexts of living. They often refer to certain groups of people. They, they came through dialogue in those communities and emerged out of them. And so from them, we have things like feminist and womanist theologies. There are Afrocentric theologies, queer theologies, Latinx theologies, all these different contextual theologies. And many people, when they encounter contextual theologies, they think, gee, this stuff is real. But when they read things from a thousand years ago, they're not quite sure what to make of it because it doesn't seem relevant. I think that's significant because, again, what helps people through is what speaks to their experience. And that's why I focus so much on spirituality and spiritual direction. In spiritual direction, you have the ability to work with somebody who can help you draw on your experience of the divine, of the transcendent, of the luminous, and integrate that in your life in a way that helps you live more fully and creatively to build hope and compassion in your life. So that's why I'm so encouraging of people to engage with a good, well-rounded spiritual director. And if you have questions about that, ask me, send me a message. Be like Joe, subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it, make some comments, and know that I appreciate the time you spend on spirituality beyond borders. Have a great day.